Life Haven is an establishment, Prophet Emmanuel and Prophetess Ruth Makandiwa founded for the benefit of God's people. This sanctuary of revival is a hub of unforgettable supernatural encounters, a place where renewal, transformation and restoration takes place. Most of the life having guests are meeting the prophets of God for the first time in their lives. According to their testimonials, what makes this encounter so powerful is hearing God speaking into their lives for the first time. The following is an extract from the prophetic session at the Life Heaven Boarding House. How are you doing? God bless you. Thank you. Welcome to the Life Heaven. Thank you. It's amazing sometimes when the Holy Spirit has made up his mind to show you. Yes. Number one, number one, showing you where your problems are coming from and how they can be corrected. It's, a, it's an awesome thing to know how you can get out of your situation. All of us, we are here for that. Yes. Mm. Because what I've realized is that there is no problem that, uh, that stays on you forever. Yes. Yeah. There is no such a problem. Yes. Designed to last forever, no, no, no. No, 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 no. no. I know I have a list of problems. I know all of them. None of them. Yes. None of them is designed to last forever. But we need to know how now to make them expire. So that's why we are here and we have come and I'm going to be ministering to you. Father, we thank you for such an awesome time, an awesome moment that you have opened up yourself to us and making yourself available to touch us, to embrace us, to talk to us, and to help us. You are opening up doors to your people. Doors that have never been opened before. Some of the people present here have been dealing with chains and yokes for years and years and years and years. They have done almost everything to make themselves free. But now it is their time. Father, as you minister to them this morning, go right to the root, to the source of their problem. Expose information. Expose the enemy's agenda. Yes. In the name of Jesus. And above all, give your people strength. Yes. Strength to overcome. Yes. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. You may be seated as you take your seat. Say, Jesus. Jesus. I love you. I love you. Mm. 
Mama. Can I talk to you, Mama? Thank you, Mama. There are two things that uh, the Lord would want me to share with you. Share with me, man of God. The first thing, it's so imminent, which will surface and appear. It will come to you as a shock. And the way that this problem is going to develop, it will be very, very, very fast. Fast to a point where you will not be able to either walk properly because I'm seeing a condition developing right at the center of your spine, your backbone. I don't know if I had... Uh, an x-ray, I would count the, the bones, the discs, and, and show you exactly where I see the problem starting from, but which normally affects this part here to do with your legs. So I'm going to minister to you is the first problem that I'm seeing when it comes it will be very fast. I'm talking about very, very, very fast. And they would try to find out where is it coming from, what is causing it, and so on. But they will not be able to really tell. Okay, and God. I need to pray for you because there is somebody that I see who had that problem, but it was arthritis. My arthritis. Father. Your father. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Professor, men of God. And... Uh, Okay. Before the stroke, your father had a problem. Yes. My you, father had a stroke. Okay, let me explain what I'm seeing. Because I've got two things that the Lord is showing me about you, about your case. I mentioned a problem. Yes. And I said if I had an x-ray, I would have showed you exactly. It's just a question. Normally I ask funny questions. Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. I'm seeing... US dollars being poured into your wallet. You listen. And then I'm seeing runs being poured into your husband's pocket. Woo! Thank you, Jesus. My husband works in South Africa. Your husband. He's in South Africa. Yes. Stand up, stand, stand. Somebody put your hands together for Jesus. So listen. Imagine if God is going to bless you here. Like I said, I ask funny questions. I'm presenting it the way that I'm seeing it. U.S. into your pocket, but it runs into your husband's a pocket. And then she is saying, truly my husband is in South Africa. Okay. You have an issue that if I'm to give you time now, you want to talk to me about your husband. Yes, man of God. Marriage. Yes, man of God. I even written on my paper. On your paper? Yes. Okay. 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 Why am I talking about Musika, 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 and so on? It's because I don't know whether you're still in good books with this friend. There is a friend of yours. This friend of yours, about a year and a half, in fact, it's last year, your friend went to South Africa. And when your friend came back, he brought you news to do with your husband. Yes, yes it's true, man of God. About another woman. Yes, huh? it's true, man of God. Mm. Mm. I'm seeing you in the bus yes. Yes. overnight yes. following up on that issue yes, man of God. It's true. and then you went to South Africa to find out yes man of God okay let me explain what I'm seeing 
Your husband, he loves you. He loves you. He's trying to stop this thing. It has been bothering him ever since. Yes, it's true, man of God. Ah. Mm. Ah. There is a girl that I'm seeing washing plates. A daughter that you didn't carry. Yes, it's true, man of God. But it's coming from your husband. Yes, it's true, man of God. Ah. 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 Have you ever kept this girl? Yes. Yes, I have her. You, you actually have the girl? Yes. <laughs> the prophet of God. It's because of your good heart. That I see the Lord blessing you financially. Oh, thank you, Jesus. We have a photo here. And also blessing your husband. I know things he's doing everything to correct. But it's just that at first he used to open up, but now he's afraid. He doesn't want to hurt you anymore. Because you were asking him and he is denying. Yes, it's true, man of God. <sighs> it's true. <laughs> yes. So. God is going to settle you. Thank Matters you, are going to be corrected. Thank you, Jesus. You don't need to worry about this. Because you are fearing for your health now. Yes, man of God, That's it's your concern, true. and you are saying, am I still okay? Yes, it's true, man of yes. God. Yes. You are not sure of what you are carrying now, and you are in need of divine healing. Yes, it's true, man of God. So if God can see this, can he not cure your body? Oh, I see. I see. Prophet Emmanuel Magandiwa, he prophesied to me about arthritis. I didn't know, but I thank the God of my father for locating that problem. I confirmed it because my father died of arthritis, but to me, I didn't know because I, I didn't have anything like that. But I confirm it just because it's a generational case in our family. My father died of that. My mother is also suffering from that. The prophet also prophesied to me about my husband. He said, I'm seeing runs and I'm seeing US dollars. My husband works in South Africa, venting. And I confirmed it because I'm thinking of starting my business of selling flowers. He also mentioned your husband had a child. And I confirmed it. He said, I see a child washing plates in your house. And I confirmed it because that child is living with me, a baby girl. The man of God also prophesied about my my husband, and he said, I'm seeing another wife, and I confirmed it because that wife was there. And she said, I saw you traveling to South Africa. Someone brought those news to you, and I said, it's true, and I confirmed it. It was true. I went there, and I asked my husband. He denied. After some time, when the wife died, he told me, yes, it was true, that wife was there. And that's the moment I started staying with that girl. It's about six months old till now. She's 10 years old. And he said, the God of my father is going to bless you. And I received that blessing. People of God, I had a privilege again at the impartation. I vomited like never before. I used to have stomach problems and I used to eat in the dream, eating different foods, meat, white cakes and everything. So today I thank the God of my father for that deliverance. I vomited it all today. People of God, all the prophecies that I received today, I didn't ever share with the prophet or any of the pastors 
it's the location of the Holy Ghost which located me today. I thank the God of my father for that in Jesus' name. Amen. I'm seeing this child. You can sit. I'm seeing this child in a breech position. We, we need to pray. I don't know how many months now. Eight months. There is something not normal about this pregnancy. It's really demanding your life. And uh, for the past a month and a half or so, it has been torture. It has been, it has been terrible. Yes, men of God, it's true. it's true. You see, there is a time when this baby moves. There is a certain angle that this child normally kicks and it gives you serious pain. Yes, men of God, it's true. You, it's if, true. you even wake up, it's because of the position of the child that I'm seeing. It's true, men of God, 100% true. Now, it's so intense to a point where even if you are asleep, you'll have to wake up because it will be, it will be serious. Yes, men of God. And I'm seeing something, I don't know, I think they will have to do um, a scan on you. If they do a scan, they will have to see a cord tying around here like this, but it's touching this part of the neck of the, of the child. And by the time the baby moves into position, the baby might be entangled. It is almost difficult right now to tell the sex of the child because an appearance that I'm seeing could be like a girl. An appearance could be like a girl because the position the position that I'm seeing, the child is hiding, hiding. So I will pray for you. If they do a scan, they might say it's a boy. And then, yes, they might say it's a boy. But if they do another one again, they might say it's a girl. <laughs> yes. To the point where even when the baby comes out, you check that part. You see what I'm talking about. You say, oh, this is why the prophet was saying this. There is an abnormality that needs to be addressed on the gender of the child. Hmm. I know it's a strange thing that you are hearing, but it can be corrected. I don't want you to worry. So if this child is a girl, we have to make sure she's a girl. Yes. If this child is a boy, right away before the baby comes out, if you want, you can go and let them check it first so that you can be sure. And then we pray for the child so that this part can properly grow. You don't want to have a problem on that one because the baby comes out and you are wondering, what is this? So two things there, position, a cord, and the sex of the child. These are things that we need to address. Because of that complicated that I'm seeing, they might say you can't deliver normally. Mm. They might say you can't deliver normally because you're not allowed to push. Because there's something that happened to you previously. Mm -hmm. So you have a very bad history. You have yes. a bad history in regards to those things. There. Yes. So I'm going to pray for you. You will know it before you leave this place that God has done something. Yes. Lord, thank you. I'm seeing them looking and looking again. 
looking and looking again. If you were noticing, I don't know. I don't know if you were actually looking there because they really took time to go through and to go through again to establish the sex of the child. Yes. Yes, me no good. It wasn't as fast as they normally do. Yes. Uh, the, the baby is sitting like this. We are not, you are not looking. They here. couldn't see properly. Yes. I know already, I've already started praying for her. I would have wanted to see the changes. Because you don't want to have a baby boy who looks like a baby girl. That's the issue. Do you want that to happen? You see, these are people outside that I'm prophesying to. And all of these people are saying, yes, yes. This is somebody inside. And some people might say, ah, how do we know? <laughs> you know by the people outside that I'm prophesying. Yes. Then you know what I'm seeing here. If we want to wait, it would be better to wait for the remaining months so that this child miraculously can quickly develop. <laughs> Rather than waiting until the baby comes out. Yes, God might do a miracle, but it would take long and even very difficult. But it's, while it's the baby is still in there, it can be corrected. Oh, yeah. 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 God is a good God. Yes. 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 He is a good God. Everything shall be normal with this child. Yeah. After your lunch, did you feel some movements? Huh? I see the Lord is perfecting this child. Okay? And... Uh, very soon, you are going to be so happy, okay? Yeah, so you don't need to worry now. Uh, this is child number what? Three. Three? Yes. Ah. So the rest, they were okay, normal. Mm. But the last one gave you problems. <laughs> yes, men of God. The last one, you see... Men of God, like you have just said, I was speaking to my sister. She's saying the last baby, the placenta remained in her womb after birth. My name is Patience Alfazema. The man of God came to me and he prophesied to me about my pregnancy. And he said the baby is rich. I said, yes, men of God is true. I've got lots of pain. Sometimes in the evening, I wake up with a lot of pains. When the babe turns, dying to wakuru wadziwa, shaka nyanyisa, kana mwanachi tena, dying to wakuru wadziwa. I said, my child, I've got a cord over the shoulder, the neck, Prophet Manuel Makandua Taura exactly. Shakaitika mukatmu penyuam exactly. Shakaitika panday to waskan. Pawaka to a time watching to waskan. Vasinga woni mana kutanga garase. Anga ka itakungi ku fumba ma like. A singa woni ke kutimanae. And I come, I confirm it. It's true. Thank you. The Psalm 119, verse 103 reads, How sweet are thy words unto my taste! Yes, sweeter than honey to my mouth! God marvels at the sound of his children's voices, and likewise, he enjoys speaking to his children. The Life Heaven prophetic encounters bring clarity to one's life and elevated advantage over one's life situations and struggles. 
Both residents and former life having guests share countless testimonies of divine encounters, supernatural transformations, and miraculous turnarounds. Several guests have made return bookings and they always testify that no one visit is like the other. Life Heaven is surely a place for a life-changing experience. <laughs>